What's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys as always, and I really mean that. We're growing a lot. I'm getting a lot of new subscribers, guys. Welcome to the family. Um, today, as you can see, we have another Town Hall 8 base build. Guys, this is by far the most requested thing uh, that people ask from me. Uh, I really enjoy it. I like building bases. It's a lot of fun for me. Um, and with this new village edit mode, it makes it ridiculously easy. So we're going to go ahead into this. I'm not going to do like a time lapse or anything. I want to actually explain the base because then it makes a little bit more sense. All right. So, uh, this is a farming base. We are no longer pushing. I think we got a little bit ahead of ourselves and nobody really commits to it. They're like, yeah, let's do it. And then like two weeks later, they're like, oh, I want more resources. So I quit. <laughs> So it's a little bit annoying, um, but why don't we go ahead and just jump into this thing, guys, um, and start placing in the building. So as a uh, trophy base, obviously, we have the clan castle outside. I mean, we have the town hall outside, so we're going to centralize that clan castle. Um, easily the most important building um, on the inside, or most important defense, uh, because you, if you're in an active clan, which I am, I know that I am, um, then you get really, really good troops, or at least you get them, um, you get them donated a lot. So that's very important to always have the clan castle in the middle. I always talk about that. Um, we are going to bring in some of our storages next, obviously, since we are trying to, um, protect them. Then we're going to bring in these Teslas, and, um, yeah, I'm actually going to take these, uh, balloons right here and put them in here. Um... So yeah, all right, so next we're gonna build our way out. As you can see, we have the mortar centralized covering the majority of the base. Um, maxed mortars do a lot of damage, um, so you want that to be centralized as well. Um, next we are going to bring up, we're gonna place in our wizard tower, so there's one of them. And then we're gonna bring in this one over here. And then we are gonna bring in this one over here as well. Um, all of those are gonna be protecting our resources and they are triangulated as you can see which is very important. I always say triangulate your defenses. I'm pretty sure that pretty much everybody says triangulate your defenses. So um, we're doing that right now. We're going to bring out our mortars. And now, as you can see, almost the entire base is covered with mortars. So that is exactly what we are, are looking for. Um, next, we're going to uh, finish filling up this little top portion up here. We're going to bring in an archer tower so that it can reach right to those walls to take out any... Um, any barbarians or anything like that. Um, so that's great coverage on that end. And then we're going to bring in our other elixir storage and put that right up here next to the archer tower. Then we're going to bring in a gold storage and put that right here. And then next we are going to bring in a, um, a Tesla right here as well. Um, and we're going to leave this gap over here empty because that way people don't know which side the Tesla's on. So uh, we can get lucky every once in a while with them uh, messing up an attack. Next, we're just going to fill up this top thing with um, a barrack and then a gold storage and an elixir storage. Um, normally, I wouldn't protect those, but I'm kind of using that as a buffer between um, the troops that are deployed up here and um, our defenses down here. So that is why those um, why those are there. Next, we are going to bring in some of our point defenses around the edges. Uh, you want to spread them out evenly. So right now you see we have cannon, archer, cannon, um, and then you, oh, I'm sorry, this one's actually supposed to be right here. Um, and so you really want to spread them out around the base just so that you can get good coverage of everything. Um, we have our air defenses in here. They are protected by the, uh, by the cannon and the archer tower. Um, so that is a good place for them. We want them away from the wall. Otherwise, if they are not away from the wall, um, then people are very easily going to be able to take them down. Um, so that is why those are there. Let's bring in this other archer tower right here. Come on. And then let's bring in this barbarian king as well. Sorry about that. All right. Um, and then next we are going to bring in the rest of our storages. So we're going to bring in that elixir storage and then this dark elixir storage and then this dark pump right here and then this gold storage right there. <laughs> 
And let's continue working our way around. So we're going to bring in this gold mine right here. We're going to put our other cannon right over here. Um, and then bring in this other storage. And then we have our last one to protect. We're going to bring that air defense in right there. And then we are going to bring in the archer tower and the other cannon. Um, so right now, that's it, guys. Everything is in there. We're going to save this village. Yes, save changes. So here is the new layout, guys. Um, I just made this a second ago, <clears throat> so I haven't been able to test it out. I think that it is going to work uh, pretty well. Let's go ahead and um, request just a high level. I don't really care uh, exactly what it is. So that's going to be the base layout, guys. I'm really excited about this one. I think that it's going to work well. Um, I think that there's a lot of great uh, wall placements in it. As you can see, we have holes in our walls right here to get giants. We have holes in our walls up here to get giants, holes in our walls up here to get giants, and holes down here to get giants. So really, no matter where they <laughs> deploy their troops, um, if, they, if they're running giant healer, they're going to be in trouble. Um, and I know that a lot of people are going to comment and say, hey, somebody can just... Uh, lightning strike your air defense or whatever um, but that's okay I'm not why is that not going right up against that wall I guess it's not going to noob um, so <clears throat> that is why I have uh, what am I saying help me out <laughs> uh, so I know that some people are gonna say hey someone's gonna come in with five lightning spells and get all your air defenses and you know what? I'm I'm fine with that because then that means that I'm protected well against other things. You can't protect your base 100% against everything. Um, as long as your defenses are um, good and they are upgraded, then you should have no problem um, really with the majority of attacks. But again, this is a farming base, and I am excited about seeing how it plays out for us. Um, I think that it's going to work really, really well. So guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, leave your comments down below. Um, this will probably be one of the last bases I designed for Town Hall 8. Um, I need to get to farming real bad so that I can get up to Town Hall 9 for you guys. Um, and yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome. You are so much cooler than me. I appreciate the support. You guys really, really mean a lot to me, and I mean that. Um, make sure that you keep calm and clash on for me. All right, guys, I will see you later.